FireCAD devices are ordinary AutoCAD blocks, which are controlled by the FireCAD program, but behave like ordinary AutoCAD blocks in many ways. To illustrate this, we will change the AutoCAD properties of the FireCAD symbols representing SLC devices to make them all red. We begin this process by selecting all of the FireCAD symbols using the ordinary AutoCAD select similar command. Now we select a different block and again select similar. Once we have all of our devices in a selection set, then we choose the properties and change them all to red. In this situation, although the designer of the bid document called for strobes and horn strobes, we have been asked to redesign the system and use speaker strobes and only the quantity needed to provide adequate coverage. So the following steps explain how we can do that. First, we filter the device palette to obtain the speaker strobe, in this case, a ceiling speaker strobe that we wish to use. In placing it on the drawing, FireCAD gives us the opportunity to set the candela setting and the speaker audible wattage tap. We do that. These settings, of course, can be changed later. Now we select the device and change its color to red. Actually, we change them to green. Now we have a single speaker strobe, green in color, on the drawing in the warehouse area. We're now going to look at the coverage pattern and then using that coverage pattern we're going to copy and paste them using ordinary AutoCAD copy and paste commands to provide adequate coverage in the warehouse. First we select the device and then from the FireCAD ribbon, we choose to show coverage. This shows us the coverage of the strobe at the specified candela rating. Now we select that and simply copy it, placing it in additional locations to provide the coverage we want in the warehouse area. Now we select similar to get the entire row selected and again using an ordinary AutoCAD copy selection command, duplicate those further down into the other areas of the warehouse in order to provide the coverage we wish.
Now we select everything that we've placed, which is displaying the coverage, and turn that coverage off. Now that we've verified the speaker strobe coverage in the warehouse area, we can now go back and delete those strobes and horn strobes that we don't need. Again, we select one and then using the select similar command or multiple selecting by window, any means of selecting can be used because these are ordinary AutoCAD blocks. You can select them, you can delete them, you can change their properties, you can manipulate them in any way that you could manipulate an ordinary AutoCAD block. Now that we have selected all of the ones we want to delete, we simply erase or we could use the delete key on our keyboard. Now we don't have